Hello everyone, I am KT from kttechie.com and it's been a very long time since I have posted a new video, it's about something like 2 to 3 months and I'm very sorry about that because from now onwards I'm gonna be very regular and soon you're gonna get a lot of content and videos so be sure to check my channel and at the same time subscribe to my channel if you want to know the latest tech and uh, technical updates related to the emerging technologies so without any further ado let's get started so today we're gonna be seeing about a new tool which is still in development and it's none other than dpits so it's just a password or sensor text cracking tool and uh, my advice is that this should be only used for education purposes this tool has inbox capability and let's see that so here it is it is the github repository page of the dpits i will make sure i will give the link to it in the description below and as you can see this is what it does so this is the thing which it does it just converts the pixelized image which is none other than just a censored image basically it's a censored image or you know encrypted kind of stuff but it's not actually encrypted but it's just blurred simply in um, blurred image into a recovered image so this is the recovered image as you can see hello from the other side and this is the original image but it's kind of identical or similar to the original image and we can get the recovered image so for example if someone is uh, blurring a password or a license key in youtube or in one video and we just take out that with a screenshot and with a photoshop we just uh, you know pixelize those uh, we just cut out those images which is a pixelized image and then if we just give it to the tool it will just recover it it's a very potential risk you know but this tool only can be used for education purposes and that's my best advice so let's go to the installation of this tool first we we shall clone the repository of this tool or basically what you can do is that just click on the code icon which highlighted in the green green color and just click on download zip and i'm going to, going to download it uh, in my desktop and i'll just save it and if I just go to my desktop, I can just extract it, extract this file, the zip file, and I can go inside and check out whether everything is right. Fine, it's fine. Okay, now we should be running this tool. For that, just again go to the GitHub repository page, and as you can see, first we need to install dependencies. This uh, tool requires so. Uh, the tool relies on these dependencies basically dependencies means uh, helping tools or other tools which is required or which is essential mandatorily essential for this tool to work properly so first let's install the dependencies so for this you have to go to a just copy those copy this code as you can see and just go to the command prompt of a windows and just go to desktop I'm going to desktop because I stored and downloaded this file in desktop but if you store in this, uh, some other locations such as documents or uh, such as your drives personal drives you can go to that location and you can just click on directory and as you can see it's here deep its main and I'm just going to go into the folder and inside that there is another one and inside that I hope there is another one in my subfolder yeah okay so there's some error Let's just go here and if we click on directory, yeah, okay, no subfolders. So now we have to install the requirements. Actually, the requirements for is is that it needed. A, uh, if I'm right, mm, yeah, okay, need a program known as Pillow. It's another one program. So let's just install it. So for this, we have to copy this line of code and just just paste it here and click on enter. And now, as you can see, I have already installed this uh, dependency required dependency, so it does not sh show me anything, and it's saying that requirement already satisfied. But for you, it will be installing, and please be patient for a few seconds so that it, it can finish its uh, finish its installation. And now, let's run dpits. So this is the command of running dpits, and basically. The hyphen p means is that uh, usually we, we every Python program should be ran, ran with the Python keyword at the front, and hyphen p, p means the input file, which is uh, you know the file the pixelized image which you want to transfer you convert into the real image or 
convert into an image which we can understand. So that's the path of your input image. As you can see, it is specified here. And iPhone yes is the path of your search image. So this tool works like a cross search method. And a cross search method like some. Let me show you. So we just go to the images. Here search images are the one and the second are the test images. First, let me go to the test images. And as you can see here, this is the original image. And this is the blurred image of that original image. So now to convert this image into this, we want to provide it a test image so that it can compare those two and find out what are the words in that present in that image. So in the search image, if you go inside that, it's best to give it this thing. There are many search images available such as this. This is all in the uppercase, I hope so, uppercase and lowercase. It's all, you know, no space, as you can see, there's no space in between. And this thing, the same way, and this, the same. So it's better to give this image, which is all uppercase and lowercase with spacing, and all uppercase and lowercase without spacing. So as it contains the both things which we want. So we are not going to use this now. We are just going to use the thing which is given here. As you can see, example usage because uh, it takes quite an amount of time such as uh, 10 to 20 minutes according uh, respectively according to your uh, computer's uh, processing speed i hope so and for me it exactly took something like uh, 10 to 15 minutes for it to calculate uh, i used this test image and i used this test image yeah this one and in the search image i provided this one this thing for me it approximately took something like 15 to 20 minutes for but for you it's dependent on your computer specifications and let's just copy it you know oh yeah example usage i'm just copy it and just paste it here just click on control v and it will automatically go on with its process of searching the image so basically, what, let me explain what it does. First, we're going to initiate the Python program with Python 3 dpitch.py. And after that, we got to specify the, specify the input folder, which is none other than the path to an input image, which is, this is the DP, pixelized image, this is the blurred image, basically. And I find yes, is the path to your search image. Like as I said before here, search images. This is this is used to cross check um, accordance to the blurred image so that we can get the real character what it is and we have to specify the path of the search image and at last we have to specify the output file as you can see if we can give iPhone O and if we just specify where it, the, our uh, recovered image can be outputted see this is the pixelized image and this is the recovered image and this is the original so this pixelized image is the original one and we are recovering it like this so this is the recovered image and we should specify in the iphone no command we should specify the path of the recovered image so where our recovered image should be stored you can specify according to your needs and i didn't specify it because and default it i think it will be outputted in the same directory and the same files like uh, it will be outputted here i hope so um yeah here it will be outputted in the same that here which we are working on currently so actually it, it will take uh, quite a lot of time as you can see it is for searching the images and i'll meet you after it is finished okay as you can see here the outputted image has been outputted to the out uh, the same directory which we are working right now so if you just go to the directory which is none other than desktop deep its main deep its main and yeah here we go this is the outputted image and if we just click on it okay it's somewhat identical as you can see if just zoom in a bit yeah as you can see the original image this one original image is uh, this one and the outputted image is this one as you can see it's it's somewhat identical or somewhat similar to the original image um, we can you know figure out the characters what it is it's just hello from the other side and the other things of 
perfectly clear to us except this thing which is hello it's a little bit blurred but uh, you know it's still in the development and uh, it's not full it's not a full-fledged release so you can you can you can't expect more and this is already above expectation as you can see this tool converts the pixelized images into recovered ones it's a very you know powerful tool and has immense capabilities so i advise you again to use it in only education you use it for only education purposes and let's get in detail about this tool and yeah okay so this is for only advanced users and if you're a complete beginner and can't understand or uh, you could only understand up to this then it's um, completely fine and uh, you can just close the video because this is only for advanced users and if you want to listen to it that's fine okay so this is about making a search image how to make a search image like so these things which is used to cross check against the pixelized images how to make these images it's given here and at the same time the algorithm which this tool uses is uh, given here and feel free to read through the you know github repository page as it contains many things and all the things cannot be shown in one video and these are the limitations okay so th now the you know known limitation for this tool is that it just only does this at pixel level as you can see it is mentioned here however some modern text rasterizers position text at sub pixel accuracies so if we, some modern uh, text blurrers or uh, text uh, pixelizers or razorizers which is used to convert the original image into this kind of blurred image uses sub pixels as you can as you can see it's mentioned here it's uh, portions text at sub pixel accuracies but this tool only has you know it's just cross checks the images or characters under pixel level so this one limitation about this tool in the future development so in the, this is only in the as i said before this, this is only in the development stage and it's not a full-fledged release so these are the future implementation goals which they have and then, and i really appreciate it and th that's all from this video you know we covered all the things about this tool and if you have any doubt please mention feel free to ask in the comments below and i'll make sure i reply that and once again i just warn you that this channel or this video will not be responsible for any of your actions which you do with this tool and at the same time i request you to use this tool with uh, caution and at the same time use this only for education purposes so that's all for today and meet you in the next one until then goodbye